Hi, my name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You are watching Petite Dressing. What is the best clothes for your body type? In today's video, I will go over with you the best clothes for the five common body types. If you don't already know what body type you are, I suggest you start with my video that talks about how to find out your body type in four simple steps. I have the link down below. If you already know which body type you are, let's dive right in. First, the hourglass. If you are an hourglass shape, you are very lucky because everybody wants to look like an hourglass. An hourglass shaped body has very well balanced curves. Your assets are your full chests, your tiny waist, and your full bottom. The best coats that accentuate your curves is a rack coat. The rack coat really stress your assets and place the emphasis on your small waist. The second benefit of wearing a rack coat is that you can decide how tight or loose the wrap is. So in that sense, you have more freedom in your front. If you are an hourglass shaped lady, I suggest you go with a single chested coat instead of a double chested coat. There's two reasons to that. One, the double chested coat expands you horizontally. If you are petite, you don't want to look wider. You want to look longer. So that's why a single chested coat is more flattering to you. And number two, hourglass shaped ladies have full chests. A single chested coat has more space in the front. A double chested coat tend to be more restrictive. If the double chested coat is fitted, we tend to feel like you can't really sweat your arms freely and you don't want to feel that way. So that's why a single chested coat is better for you. And number two is a pear shape. The pear-shaped ladies, you have sloping, narrow shoulders and your bottom tend to be wider. So in most cases, the pear shape, your side area and your butt tend to be the widest part of your body. So for the pear shape, you almost have a triangle body shape. If you are a pear body shape, there's two strategies for you. Number one, you want to add more volume to your top. So you can go with a furry color or a bigger hood or a coat with wider colors. Those details will draw attention to the top and add volume to your shoulder area. That will balance out your wider bottom. The second strategy for our pear-shaped ladies is that you can go with an A-line shape coat. An A-line shape coat has the shape of the A. So it flares out at the bottom. That has two benefits to the pear-shaped lady. Accentuates your small waist and two, also make your wider bottom and your side area less noticeable. So that's why the A-line shape will look very well on a pear-shaped body. And number three is the apple body shape. I have an apple body shape too. If you're like me, you tend to gain weight on your waist area. For apple body shaped ladies, generally you want to distract people's attention away from your midsection. And also, apple body shape tend to come across as a round shape. So the best coat for the apple body shape is a coat that adds structure. That way it will balance out the roundness of the apple shape. To me, I have always found that a rectangle shape coat works well for me because a rectangle shape has a structure so that balances out my curves. I could also see a wrap coat work very well on apple body shape because apple shaped ladies like the hourglass shape, you also have nice chests and you have round bottom. Those are your assets as well, so a rack coat can also accentuate your assets in that way. The thing about wearing a rack coat if you are an apple shape is that you want to make sure the wrap is not too tight because we have 
thicker midsection. Your wrap coat is too tight, it actually draws more attention to your midsection and make your waistline look worse. And number three, you can also go with an A-line coat. Apple body shape, you want the A-line coat to have a princess cut. What a princess cut means is the waist of A-line coat is actually higher than your natural waistline. If you wear a princess cut coat, it will draw attention higher above your natural waistline so that nobody will notice midsection, which tend to be the widest part of your body. Number four, the rectangle body shape. The rectangle body shape comes across as straight up and down, so you don't have many natural curves. The rectangle body shape is also known as a model shape because most of the supermodels have this body shape. This is supposed to be the easiest to dress body shape. The flip side of rectangle body shape is since you don't have that many curves, you may want to add a little bit of that. So if you want to add more femininity to your body shape, I suggest you go with a coat with a belt. The belt can do two things for you. One it can add a defined waistline to your body. Normally, rectangle shape does not have a naturally defined waistline, so with a belt, it can do that for you. And number two, for petite ladies, you want your proportion to look better, then you can play with the belt. You want the belt to be higher than your natural waistline, and that way, it will create the ideal bob body proportion of the longer legs and shorter torso for you. Finally, let's look at the inverted triangle body shape. The inverted triangle ladies, you have broad shoulders and you have normally you have a wider chest as well. A lot of swimmers, athletes have this body type. There's also a lot of supermodels with this body type. So if you are an inverted triangle shape, your strategy is the opposite of the pear shape ladies. You want to draw attention away from your shoulders. So because of that, you want to avoid any coats that adds volume to your shoulders. You want to stay away from a bigger hood. You don't want a furry color because all of those will draw attention to this area. What you can do is to wear a trapeze coat. The trapeze coat doesn't go with your natural body shape. So it flares out a little bit and that will balance out your shoulders. And also you can go with a longer coat that will draw attention up and down instead of to your shoulders. I hope you have found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below and let me know what body type you are and what you have found work the best for your body shape. And I will see you next time.